I'll kind of go into stuff because yeah, remember, let, let's just be honest. Remember when you're in high school and you're in speech class and you had to get up and talk in front of everybody, right? And some people are like, oh, oh my God. Some people, yeah, right now are cringing. Yeah, they're, they're like, getting oh, sweaty God. palms. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, I'd rather just jump off a cliff. I don't want to talk in front of people. And some people yeah, like yeah. you have a five minute speech and they're done in a minute. I was the guy that was talking for 10 minutes. They're like, Jesse, you're good. You're good. So I'm going to try to stick with the PowerPoint because I'll just go off on Captain Tangents and rabbit trails. But here's the thing, guys, is I've got this unique background um, for me that led me to what I do, where I took something I knew very well, but then I didn't love it anymore. And then I like, how can I monetize what I know really well, but I don't love this part of it and what I know now and what I'm doing. And um, I wish I would have figured this out years ago, frankly. Um, and it's, it's just a great way that legitimately this isn't, this isn't hype. This isn't like, you know, uh, clickbait. You literally can make an extra 10 to $20,000 every single month by just looking and paying attention to the leads that you have in front of you right now, um, either in your database, you know, in your phone, maybe in your office, um, talking with a colleague with a, you know, with a partner. So it's there. Uh, you can do a lot more than that, frankly. Um, and oftentimes we do a lot more than that per month, but this is like, this is realistic numbers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share here and I'll jump into this, but yeah, I don't want to be the guy talking most of the time here. Um, we'd love some input. In fact, I would love to know where's everyone coming from, right? Where are you coming from? If you're watching live, if you could type anything in comments, post below, where are you at? What state, what city, uh, because here's the cool thing. This is going to be number one. You're going to walk away going, hey, I know um, more about this now. I was maybe I didn't know anything about this. Maybe I heard stuff that was totally wrong, incorrect. And you're going to walk away with a bunch of knowledge. But for some of you, you might say, I would love to do this a lot more. And I'd love to actually make money and consistently and do this. And we have an opportunity for those folks at the end. If you just want to say, hey, this is another tool in my tool belt, that's awesome, right? Um, and you'll definitely walk away with that. But so love to know what area you're in um, because we're in multiple markets around the country and we're looking for other folks that are just kick-ass people we want to work with. So they want to help and they want to make more money. All right, so I'm going to jump in here and, uh, and Josh and James, if you could help me with, uh, if I'm missing anything, because I'm not going to necessarily be able to see everything as I am chatting and looking in here okay so maybe you hit me up on a text if i'm missing something i'm gonna keep that right in front of you guys okay yep i'm gonna so i'm gonna stop my video share you're gonna share your watch. screen i'm gonna go and i'm gonna moderate comments and and so forth uh we got some people from uh chiming in from uh denver metro oregon uh, Min uh minnesota lynchburg Ooh. virginia uh and uh many more as well so good stuff good stuff Jesse, uh, let's have at it. Nice. All right. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. Can everyone see this okay? Yep. Look, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, guys. All right. All right. All right. So first of all, as I'm talking and intro in here, guys, um, I want you to put below who has ever heard of a lease option, a rent to own, seller financing. Some of you might be new and you're like, I don't even know what that is at all, right? And some of you are like, oh yeah, I've heard of it a ton of times. Maybe you've done it. Maybe you've done it a bunch. Maybe you're a freaking pro. I don't know. I'd love to know where everyone's at with this um, because my experience is most people have heard of it, but it's usually not positive things to be honest. And it's not um, something they've ever done, right? They just heard of it, okay? Um, so this is about rent own lease options, um, owner financing, seller financing, lots of different terms and how to take the turndowns you have right now that you can't help today. And I'm talking today, like they go to the loan officer, they try to get pre-approved and it's, eh, sorry, we can't help them. Guess what? We can still help them get a home, get you paid. Okay. So I'm going to just talk a real bit about me. Um, I'm a, I'm a mortgage pro. I've been in the business for 15 plus years doing mortgages as a loan officer lender. I've done, you know, the big broker thing, the credit union thing, the bank thing. Um, so that's my background is mortgage first, finance first. Um, then I started really kind of delving into real estate investing in 2011, right? After the crash, right? Fantastic times. Um, raise your hand or drop a comment below if you were doing this business in the crash. Were you doing this in 08, 09? 07 when things, you know, whew, I'm curious to know who's been through that stuff. Um, so I started getting into real estate investing around that time, 
but have been doing loans for about 15 plus years. Okay. Um, I'm a, I'm a real estate investor. I've got rental properties. I've got short-term rentals. Um, I've got slow flips, which I'm doing more of that. And you'll hear why um, I uh, do some coaching as well. I'm a consultant. So we actually have a consulting company as well, where we work with investors around the nation who are doing their own um, lease options and seller financing, owner financing. We work with them to help them do it right and compliantly. Um, and then lastly, I'm an agent. But you know what? The agents at the bottom um, for a reason. Okay. I'm not a normal agent. Now, I'm, I don't want to be, and that's my choice. Okay. So some of you here are a buyer's agent. Maybe you're a seller's agent, listing agent. Uh, maybe you do both. Maybe you've got a team. I don't know. Drop below. We'd love to know what we're working with here. Um, are you mainly a buyer's agent? Are you mainly a listing agent? Are you doing both? Are you trying to just do whatever you can in this crazy market, right? Drop that below. Um, and I'd love to, to know more about what you're doing. Um, but for, for myself and probably a lot of you guys, um, I've kind of always been an entrepreneur. So I think I, you know, I was 14 years old. I quit my mall job making like $5 and 25 cents an hour. And I said, forget this. I think I can go mow someone's lawn and make like 10 bucks an hour cash in the sun, like when I want to. Right. Um, and so, uh, you know, started a lawn care company. I did that all through high school. I had 40 plus accounts when I was a senior in high school. Um, I had a sunglass company um, in college. Uh, we had three different stores in the mall selling the knockoff shades. And um, so, you know, I've always kind of said, hey, you know what? I want to work for me. I know if I work my tail off for me, I think I can make more money. Um, again, like I mentioned, in the mortgage business, about 15 years then got into real estate investing about 10 years ago. And uh, you know, things were going good and the mortgage business was always there. And, um, but you know, I, I was kind of getting bored to be honest with doing the loans, doing the mortgage, just getting a little bit bored. I, I hated um, kind of being the last one on the totem pole when everything kind of fell downhill, things didn't work out or even it did work out. It was just, just the, you know, I just wasn't enjoying it as much, but I'm like, I really know loans and credit and financing and know this stuff really well. But I just, I, I don't really love being a loan officer anymore. So I started looking around. I looked at other things that I could do, just be a regular agent, be an investor, um, you know, what sort of different things I could do. And I did a lot of different things. And, you know, there's a few years where honestly, like they were pretty rough. They were rough. I was very undecided on what I wanted to do. I was trying to do like five different things as, you know, network marketing and then doing loans and then trying to do real estate and trying to do creative real estate and doing all this different stuff. And, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't going great for a while and I really needed some clarity. I'm like, what do I want? You know, and, and here's the thing, right? How often do you actually just stop, get off the hamster wheel and ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Like, why did I get into real estate? Like, why, why am I dealing with all these things on my plate today, right? Um, I think it's a question that we need to ask a lot more often. So folks, my goals for you on this time, and, and thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be here. If you're here live, that's humongous that you're here, that you carved out time for this to learn, to learn, to earn, to better yourself, to better your business, to do better for your family, um, for your, for your um, you know, partners, for your business, for your kids. Okay. But I want to help you make more money with the leads you already have. You have these leads now. Okay, I'm not saying you have to go drop more money on uh, leads and, and, and increase your marketing budget. This, you have these leads. I want to help you help more of your clients. Okay, that's why we're in this. We're actually in an amazing business. I don't know how often you stop and think. The more people we help, the more money we make. How, how often is that the case? Usually you can do really good things, but you don't make money. And you can do, you know, you can make good money doing other things, but you're not really helping people and helping the world, right? We're in an awesome spot where you can do that. I want you to learn how you can increase your value and become a better resource. Okay. That's huge. Uh, I want to show you a blue ocean strategy. Has anyone heard of the book blue ocean strategy? Jot it down. If you've heard of it, if you've read it, drop it down below. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's an awesome book. Okay. But I want to, I want you to learn how to make more money with the leads that you're throwing away and how to do more deals and more often. Okay. Increase the frequency, not just more and spend less on marketing. Okay, so most of the leads and, and the deals that, that I'm closing nowadays, it comes over in a text message or a Facebook message, a DM, Instagram. It's not from dropping money and hoping things come back to me, okay? Lastly, guys, please be open-minded, okay? Um, and if you're here, you're here for a reason. So you're obviously open-minded, um, but you don't know what you don't know, right? So those who are always willing to invest in their knowledge and, and resources and learn more about their craft and their business, are going to do better for the clients and then do better for themselves and their family and, and so forth. Okay. So 
let's let's take a quick minute now. I don't know if you have any a, a pen or paper handy, okay, or maybe you know just notes or digital, but jot down real quick, guys. Why did you become a real estate agent? Because we're gonna come back to this. Why did you become an agent? Was it for the freedom, working where you want, when you want, the flexibility, not having to answer to somebody, right? Being able to spend more time with maybe your kids or your loved ones or just your friends, just doing cool things that you want to do when you're not working, right? Maybe travel. I freaking love to travel. I like just love to work my tail off so I can travel and sometimes I travel while working my tail off and vice versa, which is awesome about this system because you can do both. But jot down, take a minute. Why did you become an agent? Why did you get into real estate? Okay. And I want you to think, what would it look like? We have people from all over the place and all sorts of different backgrounds. What would it look like if you were making an extra 10,000 to 20,000 every month in your business? Okay. How would that improve your relationships? Would they give you more time with family and friends? Maybe more opportunities to travel, make new memories, have new experiences, maybe you know, get some cool toys that you want to enjoy. How would an extra 10K every month to 20K or more? Again, it's not like it stops at 20, okay? Um, how would that change your life right now? And for some of you, that would be a night and day freaking difference, like crazy. For others, it's like, hey, that'd be nice. You know what? It's not like gonna totally shake my world, but it's money I can put into investing and saving and more properties, right? How would that affect you? So let's talk about what's working and what's not working in your business, okay? Because this isn't just about strategy and a system, but this is really stopping to evaluate what you're doing, what you love about it, what you don't love about it, what's working, what's not working. Do you love driving clients around showing houses? Now, some of you, again, if you're like you're more of a listing agent, maybe you don't do that. If you're a buyer's agent, you're probably doing that a lot. Now, I, I've got folks and friends who, they love it. They love houses. They love to, you know, zip around and look at stuff. And I've got other folks like, no, thank you. That's why I have a team, right? Or that's why I don't do that. Um, but are you working nights and weekends, right? We're in real estate, let's be honest. Most of us probably are. Are you working nights and weekends way more than you want to though? Maybe way more than your spouse wants you to or your kids, right? Are you a one-person show? Um, or is it just you? Are you doing everything, Okay. I was there guys, not that long ago at all. Um, not anymore, but very recently I was, and the changes have been dramatic. Are you paying a lot for leads? Right. Um, that's something I'd love to know, right? Let's get a, let's get a feel. What is everyone paying for leads right now? Drop below. If you're, if you're cool with uh, sharing an average of what you spend every single month on leads, marketing ads, everything. Okay. Curious. Let's see what everyone's doing. And how we can reduce that. Do you have um, a niche, right? Do, do you have a niche that you do, a specialty, again, anything different? Or are you one of the other kind of 2 million other real estate agents in the US? 2 million, right? Let's be real. Everyone knows someone who's an agent, right? Oh, my cousin Karen, she's an agent. She can sell my house. We don't need you. We're good, right? Um, everyone knows somebody. So, for me, what really kind of was the catalyst in, and when I was trying to, you know, get out of doing loans, I knew I liked, I knew I liked real estate. I didn't want to get investing. I knew I wanted to do something with housing, but I didn't quite know what. Um, and, and I knew that I just needed to make more money and I could make more money by helping more people. Okay. But at the time, right. And this is probably 2010, 2011. I felt like a commodity. I felt like I was competing against everyone and I wanted to make more money. I wanted to have a position of authority, right. Guys, if you're just another agent um, or a loan officer, actually, is there any loan officers on here? Any other LOs, any mortgage brokers? Uh, if you are, drop it below. Let me know if you're in the mortgage biz or maybe you do both or maybe you didn't. But I felt like a commodity, right? I was just like, what's your rate? What's your fees? Like, I don't want to be a commodity. I want to be in a position of authority. Okay, I want people coming to me, not, you know, saying what's, you know, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? And next, 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 right? And I hated the fact that I wasn't able to close all of my leads and help all of my clients. So here's the thing, guys, right? You know, if you have a turndown, if you have a lead that can't get a home now, and I'm not talking like in six months or nine months or, you know, I'm talking they can or they can't right now. They leave the meetings unhappy, right? They're, they're, they're upset. You kind of wasted your time. Now, I don't mean to say that to be harsh or to be mean, but for that time right now to convert into money right now, right? It didn't happen. So you wasted your time. You didn't get paid anything and they didn't get what they want, which is the house. Okay. So thinking about this more, it kind of hit me. I'm like, you know what? I've got someone right now 
who is willing to pay rent every month and at a good amount, right? They're willing to provide cash flow to me. They have good money down, right? Now, not everybody does, but the folks that we work with have money down. They just can't tick all the boxes to qualify. I know that they'll pay a premium for a property because again, what's the alternative? Go rent and waste all of your money every single month on rent on someone else's house. Or I give them a chance to get a home of their own right now, right? That's what they want. And I know it's way less headaches than a normal renter. Now, why is that? Okay, we'll get more to that in a little bit. But it's totally different than having a rental property and regular tenants when we have one of our slow flip clients that's doing a lease option or owner financing, okay? So think right now, guys, how many leads have you had that couldn't qualify in the last 90 days? I want you to jot this down. Again, if you're taking notes, whether it's pen and paper, whether you're, you're, you're doing it on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, whatever, jot this down. How many leads have you had? And if you can think of names, guys, I'm literally going to show you by the end of this how to make thousands of dollars with what you're doing right now. So this is, this is work. Write down names of people that do not qualify that were turned down, okay? Maybe because of low credit. Maybe because of no credit. Maybe they had a new job. Maybe they have a new business. Maybe they've had a business for a while, but they haven't had it for two years yet. Heck, maybe they've had it for 10 years, but they write off everything. Does anybody know anyone who writes off everything and shows no income on paper? Maybe agents, maybe us, hello, right? We work with agents. This program even works for agents to get into homes. Um, pretty cool story we have on that. So I'll get, come back to that. But maybe a bankruptcy or a foreclosure. Um, maybe it came from a bad divorce, right? Maybe it came from a medical issue. Maybe someone was unemployed for a while, but now they're back to work. Or even someone who just missed one or two payments. I was, um, quick story. I was um, out in Los Angeles two years ago um, at a mastermind event. And I was there networking with some, some just awesome entrepreneurs from all over the country, all sorts of different spaces, not just real estate. And I got a lead and that lead turned into a deal that I, I hit right from the hotel, right before I went into the session and um, was a guy who made really good money. He had like $50,000 to put down on this house. He just missed one mortgage payment, guys. That's it. He had a 30 day late and it totally killed his pre-approval right before he was about to buy a house. Okay. Um, we got him a home. We got him a home and guess what? His agent got paid. His agent went from thinking, I got a deal to, oh crap, I just lost a deal. I'm not going to get paid anything to wait a minute. I'm back to having a deal again. I'm back to getting paid, right? So this is what this is about, all right? So all of these deals that you can think of in the last 60 days that you couldn't do, you couldn't say yes to, you, they couldn't get pre-approved. You had to say no, right? You could still be getting paid on them in the next 60 days, or I'm sorry, I said the 90 days, right? Go back 90 days, think 90 days. But within those leads in the next month to two months, you could be getting paid still and have happy people, okay? And then, so think about those people that you could turn into um, deals right now. But then think about this, guys. Those people, what if they could refer one to two people because they're so freaking pumped that every other bank turned them down and every other agent said, sorry, I can't help. But you're like, nope, I can't do it this way. I can do it that way. Okay. I've got an option. I've got a program, right? I know a guy, I know a gal, or I am the guy, I am the gal. Okay. Now think of that turns into one to two referrals just from that. What is that going to be like? Okay. So guys, this all was kind of 2010, 2011 and it hit me. I'm like, you know what? I understand financing. I understand real estate. I understand rentals. I want rental properties. Um, I had one at the time. I think my first place I ever got was a fourplex, but I was a landlord. I was being a landlord and, you know, that's good and bad depending on, you know, what's happening. Um, but I really dug into the world of creative financing, lease options, rent to own, um, rent with option to buy. They're all different names, right? But the same thing, owner financing, seller financing, um, but really specifically contract for deed, also known as a land contract in certain states, okay? So again, if you have a drop below, do you know what a lease option is? Do you know what a contract for deed or land contract is? Have you ever done one? Have you ever been a part of one, either with a client or yourself? Have you bought a place that way? Have you sold a place that way? Drop it below, okay? Let's see. Do we have a bunch of pros here? Maybe we do. Do we have a bunch of people who are like, I've never done one or been through it? Cool, let's learn. But they're both um, and, and all different ways to get a home, to buy a home, to sell a home and to put deals together, okay? Uh, but there's a lot of differences, right? And there's a lot of specifics. When do you use one versus the other? Why do you use it? Do you use it when you're buying it? Do you use it when you're selling it, right? A lot of differences. 
But essentially, and, and we can go way into the weeds, guys, but we're going to just kind of keep it high level for this one right now. Um, a lease option is a lease with the option to buy in the future. You have the option. Okay, You're paying for an option. The seller retains the deed, pays the taxes, and takes depreciation. The buyer pays an option fee or option consideration. It is not a deposit. Don't call it a deposit. That insinuates it's refundable. Okay, It is not. You're paying for the right and privilege to buy a home at a specific price and date. You have a deadline typically. Okay, They simply have a lease and then they have the option to occupy the home and rent until they can get their own bank loan and buy it in the future. All right. Now, a contract for deed, also commonly known as a land contract, depending on what state you are and geography around the country, is very similar to buying a home through a bank with a mortgage, except for the buyer has a contract for the deed directly with the seller. So think of the seller basically like the bank. Okay, so you have an, if you buy on a contract for deed, right, you have an interest rate. You're paying principal and interest every month, just like you were if you had a mortgage, except for you're not paying Wells Fargo or US Bank or Chase or whatever, you're paying the seller of the property, right? And um, sometimes they have a mortgage that they're paying. So you're paying them and they're paying the bank, all right? Now the buyer typically pays a down payment. So it is a down payment, counts towards your equity and um, they have an interest rate. Now the buyer, contract for the buyer is paying the property taxes and the insurance, okay? Now, sometimes they pay them directly to the insurance company and to the, um, to the county for the taxes. And other times they escrow it to the bank, i.e. the seller. Okay. And they pay them and then they pay. All right. So far, is this making sense? Is there any questions that you guys want me to jump into at the moment? We're going to cover lots more, but anything I should jump into, especially with the differences or, um, any, any really bad experiences people have had, um, we can jump in. I'm curious. And yet guys, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. good. Um, we've got people uh, engaged and uh, uh, there was a question about down payment percentage. So what, what would you look for, for uh, percentage down payment? I think. Um, yeah. So, so on that, if you're the investor um, buying the home, okay. Or if you're a seller, I'm going to be honest, the answer is the more, the better, right? The more, the better. Um, when I started doing this, I wanted anywhere from 3.5% to 5% down, right? Kind of the FHA minimum to conventional. Where we're at today is 10% down, okay? So if you have clients right now who can't get a loan and have 10% down or more, we can put a deal together. Let's go, there's money to be made. If they've got five to 10%, can probably still do it. Um, a little bit later on here, guys, uh, towards the end of this, I'm gonna get to two other options that we have, even if they don't have that. So if they have basically two months rent to like, you know, two months to four months rent, we still might be able to help them through different options that we have, okay? But right now, uh, ideally we're looking for kind of 10% down or more, all right? So how can I help people with lease options or owner financing? Well, you can help because you normally would have to turn them away and they can't get financing to buy a home, right? So when you or a lender or another agent have a buyer that can't get a traditional, can't get traditional bank financing, what do you guys do? And again, this is, let's, let's, let's all talk. Let's communicate here. What do you guys do with your leads right now? I'm curious. Do, um, do a lot of you send them to like a credit repair person? Do you just kind of put them on an email drip and hope that they open it up and, you know, pay attention and come back to you in a year? Do you set up a reminder? Do you actually call them and follow up with them? What do you guys do typically with your leads? Drop below. Do you just kind of say, eh, that ah, was a waste of time. That sucks. All right. I hope they come back and, you know, we'll see what happens. If they do, they do. They don't, they don't. Right. And, and do you hope that they take your advice if you gave them some advice on what to do and that it actually happens? Okay. Yeah. I know me personally, I'll just share real quick. So I, I, I refer them to or recommend a, a credit repair company and, and uh, you know, hope that my lender and that credit repair company, um, you know, are able to work and resolve them, but I'm, I'm certainly dropping the ball big time on what I could be doing for them and with them. Do you, do you like follow up with the credit repair person to see if he or she's doing her job and then your lender or just like, you know what, they got it. They'll call me when it's ready. Theoretically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You should be, but yeah. 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 I mean, you know, and, and in your mind, you're probably like, well, it's, you know, it's not really a deal. It's not going to happen. I didn't really lose anything because I didn't have it, right? Yeah. 
which is good, right? So what, what, what are we seeing guys, as far as folks who have done one of these, um, ever done a rent to own, done a lease option as, as the buyer, as the seller, as an agent, I can't see really below. We got people with experience here or like, no, I've just heard of it, man, but I've never done one. I would, I would say generally speaking, aware of them, but not necessarily have actively partaken or participated in them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be my guess. That'd be my guess. Right. So, so again, how, how many of you would love to know this stuff? What if you could actually learn this? Like who else do you know that knows this stuff? Right. And think of, think of, and again, think in your office, think in your team, think in your city, think in your Metro. How many people know this stuff really well that you could call right now and be like, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know Ted, I know Sonia. I don't know why Ted and Sonia, but that's what came to me, right? I know these guys, they know this stuff. Who do you know that actually knows about this stuff? I'm willing, could I send it to you? I, I, you know, you at the meeting, you told me that you've done some of these deals, right? I will tell you right now, guys, okay? I have made literally, I think in one month, $40,000 from the leads other agents could have done the exact same thing that I did. They just didn't know how to do it. They literally could have did what I did, but they didn't know how to do it. And so they said, here you go. Here's a number, call this person. I, I don't know what to do. I can't help. And they could have done what I did, but they didn't know how to do it, guys. That is that is a humongous price to just not knowing stuff, okay? So again, you don't know what you don't know. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it, you want to learn as much as you can learn to earn and to you know, be able to have more tools in your tool belt. Okay. So this is an example of how easy this is. Okay. So what we're doing is we're simply putting together deals. We're taking, we're taking folks who want to own real estate. They want cash flow in real estate and people who can't buy a home. Okay. And we're putting together numbers. We're put getting, uh, putting together terms. We're making sure it's a win, win, win for everybody. And then we're collecting money. Um, on this deal, I got, I got the full commission on this and I made another nine grand. So I made nine grand plus I got my commission on this. Okay. Um, if this is, you know, somebody who doesn't want to do what we do as a business or, um, you know, to do this, they say, Hey, here's someone I think I can help. We can help and we can get your commission that you would have lost. Okay. But this is from one deal. Okay. Um, and you know, and guys, the, the whole check thing, I'll be honest. I sometimes think it's super cheesy when people are flashing checks and like, Ooh, look at me. And I did not rent like a, a Lambo outside. Um, but I also think it does. It, it's helpful to see this is real, right? Like I don't, um, I don't share this with people and coach people and help people with this and, and do consulting and coaching. And I've done a deal like, you know, eight years ago, I'm doing this every single month myself in the trenches with my team. Okay. Um, but you can do a lot of extra business helping people that you normally would completely and totally turn down, okay? And I love not being in the same boat as everyone else. Blue ocean strategy, right? Who's read that? Drop it below. Drop a comment below if you've read that before. Um, if you have, you know that is basically about, you know, creating an uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant, right? On the cover. But guys, we're at a crazy time in business right now. There's so many companies there's so much business out there and you're either, you know, the, the, the best, the premium, you're the Rolls Royce, the Bentley, or you're the Ford, right? Like if you're in the middle, you're lost. You're either the cheapest, or you're the best, you're the fastest, you're the, you know, whatever, right? Competition is nuts, especially there's a, you know, 2 million agents out there. So you can try to go do what everyone else does and just fight and be the cheapest or the best or the most expensive or this or that or that. And, and you're in a bloody red ocean or you can swim away from the blood, the blood infested waters, go to where it's nice and blue and there's really no other fish and not as much competition, do your own thing, okay? And so when you start doing your own thing, you go from a commodity to the go-to. You start being the person people come to instead of you chasing them, okay? And you can start commanding your own value that you deserve. So think right now, where do your leads come from? Are they coming from your brokerage? Are they coming from Zillow? That's a whole thing, right? Are they coming from Facebook? Are you doing paid ads, free ads, just from your sphere? Some of you out there knocking on doors still, right? You're doing direct mail. Where are most of your leads coming from right now? Well, what if, guys, you could have just one investor replace two to three sellers or two to three buyers, okay, with less effort? 
So a lot of my leads guys are so much cheaper than normal because I work with people that are repeat sources of business, right? So for example, I will work with existing landlords who want more properties, right? They help us in our program. I will work with rehabbers who have homes available, sometimes pre-market, sometimes off-market, right? So that in itself is blue ocean. I work with folks who want to be landlords. I work with folks who want to get into investing, right? What we do is amazing for folks who want to invest in real estate, especially folks just getting into it. So the cool thing, guys, this is very different. We don't find deals. We're not chasing deals. We create the deals for our investors, right? Most of my leads right now and, and all of ours and our, my coaching group and our students around the country and our partners on the country, we get just leads, just again, it's a text, it's a text, it's a DM, it's a call um, versus, oh, I'm going to call these 39 people from Zillow back and they're all probably crap, right? And I got to do it or I got to pay somebody to do it. I got to pay my VA to do it or I got to do it, right? No, we just get, I get a text, I get a call. Um, so it's a lot of, you know, the leads, I'm not chasing them so much anymore. I used to, all the time, but now they're kind of coming to me. Okay. And you get to kind of pick and choose you work with. So I'm working with rock star people who are people that I, I jive with people that want to make money in real estate. They want to be investors, right? They want to help people. Um, they're agents who just want to do more business. They're lenders who want to do more business. Okay. Uh, so this is a couple of examples right here. This just came over the other day, right? So this is a couple of agents and lenders that I work with that, are um, just get texted the text or a DM and just came to me. And these are people that I work with on a regular basis. Okay. But here's the cool thing, guys, what we're showing you how to do is you can be the hero. You can be the hero when you get someone who can't get financing. And especially if it's, you know, coming maybe from another agent or a lender, you can make them look like the rock star because you're saying yes, when everyone else is saying no. And that means more biz for you. Uh, this is our boy, Eric. Eric here is a new agent, and uh, I'm sure he doesn't mind me saying this. He doesn't know this, um, but Eric is a new agent, killing it, but he hasn't been an agent for two years yet. Hello, anyone else out there who hasn't been an agent for two years yet? Or maybe you're killing it, but your taxes make it look like you made like 20 Gs last year, but you really made 100, but you wrote off 80, right? So he couldn't finance himself. And he said, hey, I heard about your program. I heard about this um, through someone else at the brokerage. Do you think you could help me? And they said, but I don't want to get a house. I want to get a duplex. I'm like, okay. So guess what? An agent, not just a regular buyer, but an agent went from renting, kind of skipped owning and went right to being an investor. And now he's doing a uh, contract for deed with us on a duplex that he's now an investor on and buying. How kick-ass is that? Right? He almost skipped the level just doing that. Um, the cool thing, guys, though, is you can do this anywhere. And I want to show those of you who want to do this, right? Again, if you just want to do onesies, twosies here and there, and you want to say, hey, hey guys, Jesse, can you help me with this? Cool. All good. We'll, we'll help all of your leads. We'll help you. Uh, but if you want to like incorporate this into your business and you want to maybe, you know, be one of our partners and work so we can help more people, you can do this anywhere. Okay. So from, uh, from a mastermind, closing deals here by the pool, right? From vacation, closing deals. From the boat, Closing deals, right? And again, not saying this to be like, cool, ooh, look at me, but you don't have to be stuck in an office. You don't have to be driving people around. You don't have to be at your brokerage. You literally just need your mobile phone. You need a laptop and you need the magic spreadsheet. What's the magic spreadsheet? The magic spreadsheet is how you put these deals together. Now, again, this is if you want to do deals, if you want to be a partner, if you want to be a deal creator. If you just say, Jesse, I've got someone right now, they got 10% down, they can't get a loan. Can you help? Absolutely. We just need to know your state, city, market, right? Some details and we can talk and we can uh, we can make it happen, okay? Now, the other thing, I'm curious, how many of you out there have heard of Home Partners of America or maybe Divi, okay? So for some of you, you might, oh yeah, I totally know them or I've done deals with them or I've, uh, I've tried to do deals. And some of you are like, I have no freaking clue what you're talking about, okay? But this is another option, there's two options for the folks who don't have 10% down. So the folks that don't have 10% down, um, we still have a couple different ways we can help them get into a home. Right now, we as agents can still get paid a full commission and be the hero, okay? So there's actually three different ways that all of your turndowns can get into a home. The slow flip method, and then through home partners, and then through Divi, okay? 
Um, these partners, these these are kind of um, you know national folks that we work with. They're nationwide. They're only in certain markets or all over the place, but certain markets. Um, you have to be an agent, of course. And um, you know we can talk about that more later if you want to talk offline at all about how to work with them and how to do the slow flip. Okay. So guys. I feel like I'm doing lots of talking. I want to hear from everyone and I want to hear some comments below. But remember at the beginning when I, I said, write this down, why you wanted to get into real estate, right? You wanted more freedom. You wanted no boss. You wanted no one, you know, checking on you all the time. You wanted more time with your family and your kids and your friends. You wanted to travel. Maybe you wanted to get into being a, uh, an investor yourself. Maybe you want investment property. You want cash flow. Well, having consistent and unique leads coming to you for free from the same sources every month that hardly anyone else even gets or knows or understands is what can help you do this. It can help you get back to why you got into this in the first place, okay? So again, from the beginning, we, we told you we wanted to help you do more deals and help more people. We wanna help you make money by mixing and matching buyers and investors. We wanna help you because we have buyers that want homes. We can help because we have investors that want deals, okay? And we have buyers that want those. We have both. And there's always a need for both, all right? So again, there's going to be probably two different paths you guys might take watching this, okay? I'm going to be very, very clear. If you just want to take your turndowns and try to get paid a commission and get them a home and you get a commission and be a hero and, and do that whenever it comes up, that's awesome. And we want to work with you and we want to help you however we possibly can. Okay. But for those of you who say, you know what, I'd rather do that like all the time. Why would I want to do that here and there? Um, I want people sending me stuff. I want to be doing these deals. I want to be running around showing houses. I want to be doing a spreadsheet from the pool in Key West and then making a couple calls and then making 10, 20 grand. I'd like to do that. If you want to do that, guys, we'd love to chat with you more about the coaching program and the partnership program that we have. Okay. Because simply just knowing and paying attention to this unique system can add tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to your income, okay? Did you know the average agent in 2019 made 49,700 bucks, okay? That's the average. Now, some of you might be brand new. Some of you might be like, heck, I hope I make that this year. I hope I make that next year. Some of you might be like, yeah, I'm doing double that, triple that, right? Whatever, but this is all stuff you're not doing right now that you can add to what you're doing. And by no means am I saying you have to stop doing what you're doing. You can just add this, right? Josh, do you think that, you know, adding this to what you're doing with your business already that you're already doing, I mean, how much more time would that add and how much more, you know, stress, or do you think you're just kind of seeing the opportunity and plucking it out? Yeah. Well, so one of the things I talk about with my organization is spending more time with a fewer amount of, of leads or, or, or contacts, right? So instead of going a mile wide and an inch deep, let's go an inch wide and a mile deep. And so this, this, um, you know, having this, like you have said, in as, as something in your toolbox mm -hmm. allows you to, to, um, to help and serve more client, a, a higher percentage of contacts that you're generating, wherever yeah. your leads are coming from, this increases the percentage likelihood that you can help more of them, help and serve more of them. And when we help and serve more of them, we make more money. When we are a problem solver for more of those people that are coming into our database, we make more. Yeah. Right. So it's being aware, having the knowledge and then simply taking action. Uh, so I, I absolutely love it. Um, I, you know, I, I think that, and that's why, you know, we're having you on here because it, 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 it's just, it makes a ton of sense, right? And, and let's say, let's say you just add a, a three to six of these over the next 12 months to your business. Like that's, that's a huge bottom line. And you don't really have to do any additional, like you don't have to have any additional cost or work. It's just being aware, having the knowledge, and then imp taking action and doing something about it. Totally. Yeah. It's not like, oh, shoot, now I have to go start selling this or selling that or find this market. It's literally there. It's in your fingertips. You just weren't yeah. paying attention to it before. And now you're paying yeah. attention to it, right? It's, you know, it's like when you buy a red car and you're like, damn it, everyone has a red car. Everyone's got a red car because you have a red car. You're paying attention to it, right? So same, same deal. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and yeah, that can make a huge difference. Even if you're doing this monthly, if you do it three times, four times a year, right? That's a vacation. That's new furniture. Yep. That's college tuition, right? 
that's all sorts of stuff. Um, but guys, you can literally, you could double, triple or quadruple your income just using this system. Okay. Even if you just do this. Okay. Um, now another thought guys, what if someone on your team does this? What if you're going, okay, Jesse, uh, you know, just, this isn't for me. I just want to do what I do. I don't, you know, I don't want to learn new tricks. Um, I don't want to have to pay attention to this, but you know what? I've got someone new on my team and they would love this. And this is a great thing they should pay attention to. Fantastic. Have someone on your team do it, right? If that's not you. Other, you know, hopefully, you know, others of you are saying, okay, hello, it's right there. Yeah, well, I can I can see these are there, they're happening. Let's convert them, let's monetize this. Um, now, some of you, drop below, drop a comment below. I'm curious, who, who's, who's already gotten there in their head? Does anyone want to be an investor? Who is a real estate investor right now? Who wants to be a real estate investor? Maybe you want to get your first cash flowing piece of real estate, okay? If you're an investor, woof, we got opportunities for you. We got opportunities for you if you're an investor or if you want to be an investor, okay? Because our system is phenomenal for that. Um, I told you at the beginning, right? With the different mix of properties I have, um, slow flips is where it's at, okay? Um, I make more money with less money down and more consistent cash flow, And I barely have to fix and repair stuff. Sometimes not at all. It's awesome. Okay. And I can do a lot more deals and a lot faster. So maybe you'd say, I want to be an investor. I want to see how this works. We can help you with that. Okay. Um, so guys, you might see the little link below. If you want to, if you want to talk more, if you want to say, Hey, look, you know, I want to do more deals. I just, when these come up, I want to know what to do. I want to know how to piece it together. I've got somebody. How do you help me with my turndown that can afford, you know, a decent monthly payment. They've got 10% down or more, or maybe they don't, maybe they even have two to two to four months rent, but maybe they fit the home partners model or, or the Divi model. We can help with that. Cause we've done that. Um, and we've been through it before many times, right? If you want to just convert any leads, we want to hear from you no matter what. But if you are interested in working together, um, apply below, workwithjesse.net and go fill that out. Just want to, we want to kind of learn more about you, your business, what's working, what's not working, your market, and, um, and, and, and see if there's something you're looking for, okay? But we are looking for more strategic partners right now and students to help set up their business around the country and get them crushing their own slow flip business together with us, okay? We can help so many more people and make way more money together when we're doing it together. And you know, the thing is we're just mixing and matching puzzle pieces. So we have both puzzle pieces. We've got investors, we've got tenant buyers, we've got the system uh, and we're doing it every single month, but we can help you mix and match these together and go find them and start doing this on a consistent basis. And it's pretty cool. Okay, so if you want, uh, if you have any interest in becoming uh, one of our partners, one of our students becoming a part of our joint venture group, there is a limited amount of people per market. All right. Now, you know, we, we, we got markets like LA and New York and, you know, and we got, you know, smaller towns, you know, and, and, and more rural states, right? But our big thing, guys, is we want to show you this is what we've been doing for years. This is what we do month in, month out, week in, week out consistently and how you can be a hero, make a lot more money, how you can do this together. Maybe maybe just do this or just add this to your toolbelt, whatever you want to do, okay? Uh, but we're not going to work with a ton of people and we're going to work with the right people. We, we want to work with people that are going to, you know, kick butt, do a great job, you know, have a lot of uh, integrity and, and, and ethics and, and, and really want to help and really go kick some butt, right? And so, you know, if you're interested, I would definitely encourage you to, to, to put the link below or go to the link below with, with jesse.net, apply, and let's talk because the market, we're not going to have everyone in all the markets, all right? So this is basically a virtually unknown strategy. So um, I, I'm curious, those of you on here right now, how many of you know of anyone who's consistently, maybe not, not done like one or two ever, but consistently doing rent to own deals, working with turndowns, helping people that no one else just, everyone else just throws away, get into homes and making tens of thousands of dollars a month. How many do you know anyone else doing that? Okay. And if you do, we definitely want to hear from them and talk to them. And if that's you, we definitely want to talk to you about that. But um, chances are you don't, you don't know that. Okay. So work with jesse.net guys. Head there if you want to work together. We're going to literally help you fill both buckets. So you have tenant buyers, folks who can't get financing and want a home. And then there's investors who want to make money in real estate. And we're going to help you find them, fill them, and mix and match them together, okay, with you. All right. And you're also going to help you with when should you do a lease option versus an owner finance deal, 
right? You also get the magic spreadsheet. The magic spreadsheet, guys, that puts all the numbers together that you need to sell a deal. This alone, just by itself, pays for the entire program with just doing one to two deals with having this, okay? It's all proprietary stuff. And that's what I'm doing in the picture from QS. That was a week and a half ago, okay? Um, and we can also help you with finding the best mortgage options for your investors and then also for your tenant buyers. We'll help with contracts, the system, the flow, the closing, the setup, the title companies, what to say, how to do it, okay? Uh, we also do tenant buyer consulting. So, so one of the huge things, guys, is if someone can't get a loan, there's a reason for that, right? You know, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, right? Trust me, we, we do turn people down. People have to you know, be kind of going back up hill in, in life. They can't still be going down, right? If you couldn't pay your car the last two months in a row, this might not be a fit for you, okay? Things are still kind of getting worse. But if you had a little, a little hurdle, a little speed bump a year ago, right? And that's still hurting things, right? This is perfect. So we have a, a nationwide, like I mentioned at the beginning, consulting program where we'll help make sure they can afford the home, that they have a very good realistic chance of actually qualifying. And we don't put somebody in a, you know, um, a one-year deal that needs three years, right? Because then you're doomed from the beginning. We want to put someone who needs one year into a two-year deal or a three-year deal so they have more time in case things don't work out, right? Um, so there's, there's, there's a lot that goes behind this, all right? So we'll include that and you get half off on that with the consulting. Every single week, we have weekly live Zoom calls. Those are recorded and they go into the members area if you can't make it. We have one private call per month. We have a private Facebook group with people all over the country who are doing this. You get the exact scripts and emails uh, that I use that you can just send out to people. You can literally just copy, paste, change your name, change the dates, send these to other investors, other, uh, other agents, to loan officers, and you get access to our cool CRM with text blasting and voice blasting and email campaigns, okay? You also get access to one in-person live event at one of our awesome new Airbnbs in Florida, and uh, meet with all your other fellow Slow Flip colleagues from around the country. We're doing deals all over the place and have a sweet, fun time, okay? Um, so there, there is an application process to see if we're a good fit or not. This is not for everyone. It's not for you all good, okay? But we really wanna work with people who are committed to taking action, learning, and having fun while doing it, okay? So you can be with your family and your friends on vacation, scouting out new Airbnb properties, meeting strategic partners around the country, you can still be doing this business, all right? Um, in addition, okay, so in addition to all that, guys, we're also gonna show you how to set up your team because at the beginning, we probably talked about time, right? And maybe you're crushing it. Maybe your business is awesome right now monetarily, but you're working nights, you're working weekends, you're not going to your kids' games, getting yelled at by your partner or your spouse, right? So with the team, you can start getting back that time and, and go do the things you want to do. We're going to show you marketing and automation hacks. We're going to show you different mindset and help you get rid of limiting beliefs. That's so much of it's up here, guys, right? How to live with more energy and focus. And then a lot of productivity hacks from folks that we're partners with and friends with and working with that are in seven and eight figure masterminds um, that are crushing it, right? Because, you know, if you want to get to another level, you got to follow and listen and learn from the people who are at those levels, right? And our coaching students have paid for the cost of this whole program within just the first few deals and it's done and your investment is fully recouped and then you're making money over and over and over after that. And look at these good looking dudes right here. Look at these good looking dudes. So this is James and Toby and James and Toby, um, I'll tell you what, if, 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 if there's ever a partner, a student, a colleague that you want, it's someone who just says, what do I need to do? Tell me what to watch, listen to, read, and I'm going to go do it. And they do it. And that's it. It's not rocket science, but they do it. They do the work. And they just put time in. And not even a ton of time, but just time in. And uh, so I'm going to shut up for a few minutes, right? Because I told you I can talk way past more than they need. But I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let James talk. And uh, Tobe, if Tobe's on, if Tobe's on or not, but I'm going to let James talk and talk about how we got connected and what he was doing before and how it's going now. And, uh, and any questions you guys have for James live, drop it. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah, you know, Toby and I signed up for a different program um, where it was kind of the traditional route where you find a property, get it under contract, 
do sandwich lease options with the end buyer. You have to go find the buyer that fits that particular property. And it was just, we were just beating our heads against the wall. It was a, a tough way to do it. It can be done. But mm -hmm. then we, we ran across Jesse somehow through, you know, the internet. <laughs> um, Facebook, I believe, right? Could be, I don't know, totally, totally found you. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, once we saw that we could reverse engineer this and create the deals, it was like, oh, like the light bulb went off. Um, so we, we had a little basis of knowledge coming from the other direction. So when, once we saw this, we we're like, okay, this is, this is great. And, and Jesse has this platform, this uh, system, you know, like you said, emails and spreadsheets, all, everything you need, all you have to do is just do the work and start making those connections and filling those, those two buckets. Um, it's, it's, as easy, it's not easy, you know, you have to do the work, but yeah. it's, it's not hard either. I mean, it's just, and, and if you're already an agent, like I wasn't an agent to begin with, uh, I got licensed to help with this business and branch off and do some other, other things. Um, but you're, it, like I said, I, I didn't have, have that background. So if somebody's already an agent, you've got that component already and you just add this to it. And, and like, like you said, Jesse, just seeing it, knowing that there's this opportunity out there that, that you didn't know was there. Now you, all of a sudden you're like, oh, 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 I see it. You see it everywhere. And then you can be the go-to in your market, which we've become. And just like you said, you know. And really a short time too, right? Yeah, yeah. Short time, you've, you've become the go-to and people are like, oh, I got this. I don't know what to do with it. And then they, they see your post. They see something, you know, that's out there. You're, you're talking to them, right? TTP, talk to people, you know, not rocket science, but you got to do the work and you got to talk to people and you got to share it. Well, just consistently say what you do. And I, I get those same texts and DMs all the time now. Like, hey, we got somebody and they might not always fit, but I know, I know who I'm looking for. And I, I tell other people, you know, who's a good fit for like the tenant buyers and for investors too. So constantly filling those buckets just by putting ourselves out there and saying, this is what we do. This is how we can help. Yeah. So, you know, we're, now we're doing a deal a month um, and that's ramping up. So and, that's, and, just, and, that's just these deals. It's not, I mean, we do some other regular real estate too, but. Yeah. Well, and that, that, that's what I love. And I, and I, I was going to get to that, but I knew you would. James wasn't an agent before guys. He wasn't, he wasn't selling real estate. He wasn't in the business, like getting into it, James and his partner, Toby, they weren't even there in real estate as licensed agents. And one of the things that I said is you don't have to be necessarily licensed to do this. There's, there's, there's ways we can do this. Uh, we can still help people. Um, obviously, you know, legally compliantly, there's just, just different ways you have to maneuver it. But um, I said, get licensed because you'll make more money and the opportunities are around you all the time. Like everyone you work with is, is, is an opportunity. And so then once you guys did that again, you didn't say, oh, I don't want to, or I don't know why. You just went and did it. And then you joined an amazing team. And it's how you met Josh, you joined an amazing company, amazing team. And now you have access to all these other people. We're like, hey, you got all these problems that you don't think you can do anything with. I can help you and I can help you and I can make money and you make money and you look like a hero and- and we just rinse and repeat. And the sweetest thing is once someone gets this and they've done a deal, then all of a sudden that's when it really starts coming in, right? That's when the DMs come in. It's like, hey, Jesse, I got somebody else. Or hey, so-and-so on my team mentioned you helped them last month close this deal that blew up. Can you help me? And then it's like the snowball, right? It's a snowball. You know, I always say, and I probably make this joke a lot, but it's like pushing a little tiny snowball up a hill and it's hard and it's hard and it gets bigger and it gets harder. And then all of a sudden you go on the other side and you're getting momentum and it's faster and it's faster and it's coming to you. And that's what it is, right? So you just, you got to just get the, the foundation, but we have lead sources that are bringing us stuff day in, day out, right? Instead of going after the leads, I'd rather have a lead source and a, and a partner and people that we work with on a consistent basis. I mean, we've made agents, you know, one or two or three agents, 20, 30, 
like for that person, because they know they have a solution to their problem and they come back to me or our team or you, right? So um, it's pretty sweet that way. Anything else that you would say as far as someone, James, who's never done this or heard about it or anything like that? All the tools are there. You can start from scratch. So that's yeah. what we do, basically. Simple, but not easy, right? I mean, it's like, it's like a lot of things in real estate, right? It's, mm -hmm. I mean, the concepts are simple, but you got to implement. I shared uh, an acronym on our uh, daily huddle this morning. Learn, uh, and the acronym is LIFE, the word LIFE. Learn, implement, fail, evolve. Learn, implement, fail, evolve. Learn, implement, fail, evolve. And it's a cyclical thing. Yeah. That is what life is about, right? Um, yeah. If we're not learning and growing, uh, taking action from what we learn and grow from, uh, having some failure to learn from and then evolve from it, uh, 100%. One of the things that I, I, I love that you mentioned was, um, you know, if you're someone who is listing centric or you have a team, like why not equip your buyer's agents mm -hmm. with this as an additional opportunity for them to increase their revenue? There, if, if they're worth, uh, you know, if, if they're productive buyer agents, they're having lots of conversations, which means at least several times a month, if not several times a week, they're talking with people that want to buy, but can't right now for X or Y or Z reason. And you give them, you make them aware of the opportunity, you equip them with the tools uh, and the questions to ask. And, you know, you're, you're making their life better. They're helping more of their, th those folks. You're creating opportunity for the investors that are working the other side. Like it's just a beautiful win, win scenario. And it all just comes back to being aware and equipping yourself with the tools necessary to, uh, to make it happen. So I, I, I absolutely love it. I think it's an absolute uh, no brainer. Um, I also think that as the market changes and evolves, there's going to be even more opportunity Mm -hmm. for these types of transactions because the market is not going to be this crazy seller hot sellers market forever that is no. for sure no. um what goes up must come down at some point mm -hmm. uh and you know who knows what that'll look like but if you've got another tool in your tool belt you are better equipped to survive whatever those market changes look like well I, i'm glad you said that because i was going to get to that as well right market's going to change and when it does like this this system, guys, will always work. I mean, it might work for a little bucket. It might work for a big bucket, but it's always going to work. Um, our houses from these deals usually found in the MLS or off market. Uh, great question, Jacob. We do off or we do on the market. Most of our stuff is on the MLS. Now, another step past that, right? Again, like let's be awesome, but let's even be more awesome is working with, you know, um, rehabbers, wholesalers, other investors. And so we do have some partners and good friends of ours that have a whole business with that. So we do a lot of off-market stuff too. We work with rehabbers before it's on the market, right? It's not what you know, it's who you know a lot of time. Um, but but the, the nuts and bolts of our program is on the MLS. We're, we're getting stuff off the MLS and we let them choose the home, right? So they get to pick the home they want and we go buy it, right? We go buy it and then they do a rent to own or contract for deed with us and then they buy it when they get whatever they need to get fixed, fixed in a year or two or three years. Um, but this is really cool because I was just going to say, speaking of the market changing and how red freaking hot the market is for probably just about everyone out there. Um, we just had a closing, I think it was a week ago, Friday. So yeah, a week ago this Friday, we had a closing. Guess what? This tenant buyer was not a tenant buyer turn down like most of our clients. They can qualify. They could get a loan. So you might say, well, Jesse, why the heck would somebody who can go get a loan work with your program and then go pay more for the home. And then you'll pay a little bit extra every month. Um, why would they do that if they can get a loan? Because they were doing um, FHA financing and they were getting beat all the time. They kept getting beat. They were not winning any offers. They're not winning any, any, any of the deals. So with us, we come in and sometimes we're purchasing cash. Um, oftentimes it's still financing, but even if it's financing, it's 20% down. It's commercial. They know they'd take that deal all day long, or especially cash, over, you know, five percent, ten percent, you know, maybe something else, right? So, um, and they wanted to do the three and a half percent FHA, but they could come up with more, but they don't want to, right? And of course, people do the minimum, right? But they said, hey, I'm willing to do this if this gets us our house, 
And so, yes, they paid a premium to do the program, but at the same point, they would have paid that same premium, if not more, just to go crazy and get this house. So people who don't even need it, who can get financing are saying, this is still a way we can get a property right now. And we win out, uh, out of 20, 30 offers. And so that was really cool. I'm like, wow, I, I hadn't even thought about that really, you know? Um, and so yeah. we're all evolving with it. And then we do a lot of stuff too, where we have people who want to, you know, maybe be an investor and they want to maybe um, get in and they just, they, they don't have 20% down, but they got 10, they got 15. We have a deal right now. We're working with somebody. They're actually buying two properties with us. They have 10% down. We'll do it 10% down. Um, the bank needs 20 or 25. So they get to get two properties going right now instead of one that they'd maybe get once they save up some more money. So we're just giving people a chance to get in the game. And, um, and it's a pretty cool way. If you don't mind, I've got two more slides, I think. And then I want to open up for Q&A if that's cool. Let's do it. Awesome. 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 Um, so if you want to talk about doing this in your business, you want to talk about doing this in your market, okay? Just go to workwithjesse.net, apply for free. It'll take you like 60 seconds. You just fill out a couple of things. Um, we'll review the application. We're going to set up a free 20-minute discovery call. We're just going to chat. What's your business? What are you doing? How are things going? What's working? What's not working? You know, what do you get out of this? Do you, you want to do more deals? Um, do you want to do this? Do you want to just know how to help people? Um, you know, and, and work out with the best way for you. And then also you can lock down your market though. Okay. So we're in some markets right now around the country. Um, we're definitely not everywhere. And the people that are doing good in their market, they get that market. The people that are not doing deals that are not showing up, not doing what they need to do. Um, they, they, they don't get the market, right? Cause we're going to open that up for other people and you can start doing deals ASAP. Other thing guys is if you say, hey, this isn't really for me, but you know what? I, I know someone who would probably be really into this. Um, maybe they're a newer agent or maybe they're crushing it and then totally not a new agent. They just are always looking for more ways to help more people and make more money. And um, if you refer them to us and it's a fit and they work with us, we can pay you $1,000 just for referring them to us. Okay. If we end up working together just for referring it, that's it. So we just want to work with really good people to help more people, help more people get home ownership all over the country and, uh, and help agents make a lot more money by doing this as well. Okay. So what questions do people have? Because there's lots of questions probably on semantics and, and, and steps and this and that. Um, what do we got? Yeah. I'm and I'm going to work on pulling up the comments here to see what we have in the comments. Oh, well, well, you do that, Josh. Definitely have it. I've got my uh, assistant out in the other room who is actually hopping on a Zoom right now with one of our students and their investor. So I'm just going to go tell her right now, make sure that she's on and she's good to go. Okay. So okay. Yeah, right on. What we do is we will hop on a Zoom with your your people and help explain it and close the deal. So I'll be right back. Yeah, I'd add that, you know, we've got Tuesdays, we've got Zoom calls set up uh, for investors. So any students can bring on investors. Um, Wednesdays, we've got coaching calls. So if you've got any questions, we've got that kind of blocked off each, each week. And then Thursdays, you can bring on any agents, lenders, credit repair people, any of those lead sources, bring them on and we can answer those questions together. Jesse's always on there. Well, sometimes he's not, I'll, I'll fill in, but uh, he's a, a great resource as a backup, especially, especially with let, um, investors. You know, it's uh, sometimes complicated conversations. And so Jesse can back you up there. Yeah. Jesse, I was just I talking know. about our, our three, three different calls we have during the week, the investors, the coaching calls and the agents and lenders. So yeah, that's super valuable, especially for people brand new to the program. Yeah. You know how to start those conversations and answer all the questions right off the bat. So it's a great resource. Yeah. Thanks, man. No. And you know what? I think, I think it's even probably maybe your suggestion and you know, like, Hey, what if we just had open time for this? I'm like, that's a great idea because I'm kind of having the same conversation over and over and over. It's like, what if we just know every single week there's this 
hour that's blocked out where, yeah, anyone you know who is a lender or an agent, they can learn more about this um, or they're an investor and they want to be an investor in the deal. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So, yeah. 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 Just, just me listening to you. It just gives me, it just sinks in. So now like I can talk to anybody about any of that. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Repetition, right? It's so helpful. Yeah. So helpful. Yeah. It's uh you know, and, and one of the things um, we have a, a brand new student who just signed up the other day and I was kind of going through with her and I said, you know, one of the cool things is this isn't selling. It really isn't selling. This is problem solving. And this is, you know, getting someone what they want and you're getting two different people what they want. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I never thought about it that way. Yeah. It's, you're not selling anybody on anything. It's yeah. Presenting the facts and yeah. No. And, 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 and when you, when you do that shift in your thinking, of, oh, I gotta, I gotta sell this person. I gotta sell this person. And what if they don't want to do like, we're providing them with an option. And, and frankly, they don't have a lot of other options. So they can, they can rent and they can go give all of their money every single month to someone else. And they get none of that back. And then they still have to move. I'm like, I tell people I'd pay thousand dollars not to move. Moving sucks. <laughs> like, I paid not to move. So then they're you know, going to be moving multiple times. Um, whereas we can get them what they want now. And again, whatever house they're looking at today, that's gone, right? We all know that's gone you know, in, in a month if, if they don't get it. So if they can't get it themselves, they can still get it through us and through our program. And um, I know we joke a lot, right? It's cheesy, but there's five wins, guys. There's not, this isn't a win-win. There's a win, 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 win. So you as the agent win because you would have had a goose egg. You would have had zero. You would have had a closing that didn't close because you have a buyer who can't buy. But now when they can get a home through the slow flip, you get paid your commission still. You win right? We win because we are deal creators. We're setting up the deal. We're creating the deal. So we get paid. We win. Then there's an investor who wins because that investor is looking for great people to have a cash flowing property and help and make money at the same time. They win. Then there's the lender. Okay. The lender wins because and usually there's a lender involved, but maybe there's not. But for our lender friends and partners out there, right? They have turndowns too, but guess what? When they're in the home, they're coming back. Okay. They're coming back to that lender in 12 months or 24 months because they have to, they got to get this done um, to, to get the house and, and keep the house, frankly. Right. It's not like, eh, well, we'll see what happens. Like, you know, that, you know, what's going to happen. It's not going to happen. But when they already got the home and that lender helped be some part of the, the, the puzzle piece and they went and they get a loan coming to them. Right. And then obviously your client, the tenant buyer, they get a home when they thought, you know, everyone else told them no. And, and we get to say, yes. Yeah. So it's five wins, which is crazy. Um, so it's, 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 it's awesome. We get to really, and a lot of people are more grateful. You know what I mean? Every single one we close with, they're like at tears half the time. Uh, we have a lot of crying. We get people that are like, oh my God, I had no options or I had nowhere to go, or I thought I was going to get this house and something blew up at the end with financing. And then what do I do? And then uh, it's pretty cool that way. Very cool. That's so in the interest of time, uh, yeah. what I would recommend is if you have questions, if you're curious, um, if you know you have any level of interest that you go to work with jesse.net, fill out the application and have a conversation. Jesse, if you haven't uh, uh, already figured this out, like he's not a hard sales. It's not hardcore sales, right? He's going to have a phone conversation with you. And if it makes sense, he'll present you with options. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. Uh, but there's, there's, uh, no harm whatsoever in at least having that conversation and seeing if it's something that you can fit in to your business and, and, and give yourself, uh, more opportunities to, uh, to help and serve clients, to be a better problem solver, um, to, uh, you know, to help your community, you know, because when you, when you put deals like this together, you're, you're, you're doing good in the community on a number of different levels. So, um, definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. Go to workwithjesse.net. Uh, several people asked, do we have a recording? We will send that to, to anyone who's interested. Absolutely. Um, and uh, gentlemen, I so appreciate your time and expertise and uh, all the wisdom you shared uh, today. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to hearing about, uh, you know, the next crop of, of students, of slow flippers uh, yeah. and, and uh, the, uh, you know, the good they will do 
in the real estate world uh, by, by being a better, more proactive problem solver. Dude, thank you so much for having us on. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I just get so, so excited to show other people how to help, how to make more money and show these strategies. And so, yeah, we'd love to chat with any one of you who has leads, clients, want to do the business, just has more questions. And, uh, and thanks. Thanks for having, having me on and having us on, man. Appreciate it. Right on. Take care and uh, talk soon, fellas.